Once you're in Sumdog and have beaten the warm-up, if you go to your house, again, my student's name is Fake Student, so it says F Fake S, go to this little pink house, and into your house, I, uh, we'll talk about how we decorate in a moment, but today we're going to talk about how we add friends. If you hit Add Friends here, you can see I had... Um, I've asked someone, so I'm waiting for him to reply. This student asked me. I'm going to put in my teacher account and hit ask. And you'll see it'll make a waiting list here. And here is how you find your friend ID to give to someone else. It'll be your initials, so fake students are FS, and then a set of numbers. You can put that in the chat if you're in a Google Meet and share your friend ID with other people. They will type it in here and hit ask. And the next time they log in or go to friends, uh, they will hit accept. And you now have friends and some dog is more likely to pair you up when you play games. If you know if someone sent a friend request, I sent a friend request from my student account to my teacher account. So if I go to add friends, I'm going to see I have a friend request from fake student. I can hit yes. And now that student is on my list of friends on the side. Another thing you can do once you have a friend, if you have money or coins built up from games, you're able to send them some gifts. So maybe you want to send a gift to fake student. So if I hit the gift button, I'll look down for, I know I have a little long list of friends from students over the years, but I'm going to look for fake student. At the bottom, I added them last, so I'm going to hit that student, and maybe I want to buy her, I could buy her clothes, and choose from all these areas, I think I want to buy something for her house. I'm going to go to clothing, to house. And she needs to decorate. So I could buy her a rug for her floor. I could buy her, let's buy her some wallpaper. I could buy a solid color wall. Let's get her a really cool wall. How about space sharks? If I find something I want to buy for that, my friend, I can hit buy. And now it says gift given to fake student. Someone, if someone sent you a gift, you can check, go into your house, house again, and once there you're going to see a little package on the floor. If you click it, it'll tell you who sent it to you and what they've sent you. And now's a good time to learn how to decorate your house. Now that I own wallpaper, if I hit the word decorate, um, I can choose the floor. I don't have anything to add to my floor, it's just a cement floor right now. If I go to wall, I can choose the wallpaper, hit back, and now when I check my house, my wallpaper is up. I have 75 uh, coins to spend. I can go to the store, and I'm, I'm able to, I can't buy a belt yet. I could look through and see if there's any other articles of clothing for 75 uh, dollars, which isn't very much yet. I haven't played a lot of games with this account. But if I go to my house, check the floor, I can buy a rug that I like. Now, notice if it has a paw, that's something you cannot buy. That's something for uh, different accounts that we don't have. But everything else you are able to buy if you have enough coins or points. So I'm going to buy this blue rug. Go back to my house. Choose decorate and floor and add that rug. And now if I go back to my house, you'll see it's decorated a little bit. It looks a little better, right? As I keep playing, I'm able to upgrade my house more and more and make it look uh, very unique and to my taste however I want to decorate it.